So I promise to give you an answer. Which is the best? The EcoFlow Stream multi inverter or the pretty much industry standard Enphase? I've been testing them for six days side by side up there right next to each other and taking out the variables for the slight difference in position and the shadowing is a clear winner and I'll tell you straight away EcoFlow let's talk about the financials first I've had to write it down because I can't believe what I'm going to tell you EcoFlow double inverter 2 by 400 watts 99 pounds IP66 beautiful easy to install the equivalent now would be an IQ8 single from Enphase it's 170 pounds for a single this cannot work alone you have to have a thing called a gateway a box called a gateway now a basic gateway costs 189 pounds but to have it with proper metering so it can do clever things like adjust what you export it's going to cost you 337 pounds for an envoy gateway s that brings you to a grand total if you wanted to have two of these and the metering etc it's going to cost you 529 pounds to get going okay the the gateway is not a repeatable cost but you you can see where I'm, where I'm going with this system you get two inverters rated at 400 watts now bear in mind that the end phase are rated at something like 350 so this these are these are better 99 pounds if you want the metering you buy uh, uh, EcoFlow smart meter for 99 pounds and the software does it now the approach they have is quite different and I, I need to mention this this is communicated to by the controller which sits near my my power distribution and it sends its signal over the power cables that is a positive these use standard Wi-Fi and that led to a problem in my garden because I didn't have proper coverage of 2.4 gigahertz um, internet and it has to be 2.4 it doesn't accept the later 5 gigahertz so that's caused me a problem my TP-Link uh, extender did not work I don't know why so I've bought um, a storm weatherproof extender and it's a power socket for sitting outside and that'll be another project I'll be doing today this will cure my communication problems in the garden in all ways okay so let's talk about ease of installation software with the end phase not great two pieces of software one to install one to monitor it's confusing I didn't like it and the actual graphics etc you get at the end of it they give you all the information you require yes but they don't show you your power constantly you can't look at it and say at this moment this one is giving me 100 watts the software with EcoFlow it's lovely software I can see each one of them I can see what they're giving I can see the track record of what they've done I can see my daily totals and when it's connected to the smart meter it'll do pretty much everything that this very expensive end phase system does okay very important how rugged are they very rugged these have worked brilliantly IP66 IP67 rated this is like a brick unbelievable unbelievable IP66 rated I don't know how long they last in comparison but I have no reason to suspect that they're not going to be to be reliable at the moment I don't see anything bad in the press about them okay the okay. thing that we really really care about <laughs> apart from obviously the massive difference in price is how do they turn the output from those panels those are identical panels into power well I'm afraid this is going to be a bit boring they are almost identical the EcoFlow has slightly got the edge by about 10 watts in a day and that's because they seem to turn on earlier 
and turn off later, i.e. they need a little bit less voltage from the solar panel to kick into life. It's not a, a game changer. It, it, so, from the point of view of producing power, they are identical. From the point of view of cost, a fully fledged system with two of these against a fully fledged system with two of these is £198 for this, £677 for this. End phase, you need to think again because your pricing is crazy. These are aimed at the DIY market, however, I'm not really DIY, I'm going into quite big power production at home. But as a standalone microinverter, just as a standalone, it, it's fantastic. If you want DIY solar power, just a couple of panels, they say on a, on a balcony, they can be on a fence or whatever, and you really want to be able to do it yourself without risking life and limb, EcoFlow is a viable answer. Now, this is not an advert for EcoFlow. I just think it's a great product, and if they keep the pricing like this, it's, it's very achievable to make a difference to your household costs using these. So this, this is me, I bought this as a separate. Now at the top of the garden I bought a package, I bought two solar panels and one of these. I'll tell you about that in, in a later video because it's working right now.